So why this training course? Well, when you move into the world of S4HANA, developing Fury apps is going to be something that is quite important. Not only if you are a developer, also from a functional consultant perspective or even a project manager perspective, just to get a bit of an idea how complex it can be to build an app. A lot of the tools that SAP has offered you in the world before s so the ECC world, they are not valid anymore. You need to start to use a, a tool called Eclipse and that already is going to be different. And therefore, it is quite important to start to learn this ABO RESTful programming as quickly as possible. Especially if you've got a lot of ABAP skills, because the other alternative is to go into um, Subweb IDE, and that is JavaScript driven. Now, if you don't know JavaScript, I, I don't really know JavaScript myself, just a little bit just to get by, but certainly not uh, as, as good as that I know ABAP. So building Fury apps using ABAP is going to be my preferred starting point because otherwise I need to learn a completely new language. Even if you know ABAP and you had a bit of experience with ABAP RESTful programming, um, you've done some training courses at other places, you really want to have some hands-on experience, that is great because that is what I'm going to show you. And I hope therefore while doing the exercises, you build the confidence in using this, uh, this tool and therefore also start to suggest to use ABA RESTful programming to create Fury apps yourself or within your project. And especially what I uh, did now with this training course is that I made a simplified version of something that I've built for another client. Simplified enough that it is not exactly the same. Um, for sure you're going to find out that if, the, if you see the full thing that I've built for the client you probably only like touch five or ten percent of the stuff that I've built, but still it is very comprehensive and you're going to see that you can do a lot within ABA virtual programming.